Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel. Thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, see it and buy it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Launched for 2009, the Omega DeVille annual calendar is a fearsome combination of engineering, handsome style, and all-around durability. An annual calendar with a dress watch format and 100 meter water resistance, it's hard to categorize, but I can tell you, on any basis, in any class, it's a standout. 41 millimeters in stainless steel, you can see on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, an easy watch to wear because of the tight curvature of the case. When you look at it in profile, you can see it really does have an effective camber or arc. The lugs are short cropped and tightly downturned, and the bracelet, as featured, doesn't have any rigid flare beyond the ends of the lugs themselves. So the watch is 497 millimeters from lug to lug and an easy 49.7 to wear. I can recommend the watch for wrists as small as 14 and a half centimeters circumference on this bracelet. 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs, but you are going to want to consider the factory bracelet to be your first choice. It's a lovely piece and quite robust. It's a thick watch, but not a super thick watch. 14.5 millimeters thick means it's probably not going to slide underneath a dress shirt cuff, but you are good to go with any kind of a jacket, sports jacket, or formal. The bracelet's a handsome and unique design. As you can see, the nine link design is featured is quite distinct from anything you'll see on an Omega Speedmaster or Seamaster, and that is the vast majority of steel Omegas in the world. The bracelet's nicely made, with alternating polished and satin surfaces, and you can see the double splayed flying V form of the primary links. You can also see that there's a handsome hairline bevel along the flanks of the bracelet itself, a thoughtful detail, and something that's Frankly, expected of the likes of Audemars Piguet, Vacheron, and Patek, but not necessarily from Omega. Nicely done. On its shoulder links, you can see a satin finish, as well as polished screw heads, and all of the removable links are fixed by screws. You have a substantial twin-fold clasp with trigger actuation. It's not a sports clasp, but it's sturdy enough and secure enough that it could absolutely hold up to vigorous activity. And because this is a flagship complication for Omega, you can see the Omega logo, an insert relieved against the base with yellow gold all in high polish. Nicely done. I should also mention that this bracelet, though something of a hybrid of a sports and dress bracelet, has everything you'd expect of a pure sports bracelet with big gaps on the underside to vent the wrist and avoid pinching skin or pulling hair. So the comfort, excellent on this one, and not just during periods of office play. You can see the flanks of the case, surprisingly complex. There's a little bit of a inward inflection or concave profile to the facing of the lugs, and there's a sharp break between the lug body and the mid case, and that sharp break is distinct from what you'll see on many dress watches, which tend to follow in the footsteps of the influential IWC Portuguese and Patek Calatrava. They have blended lugs with the case band. Here, not only are the lugs not blended with the case band, but the satin finish isn't the usual longitudinal. It's vertical all the way down. Center case as well as lugs. Transitional bevel that actually flares and merges with the width and form of the domed polished bezel, and then you can see that the hoods of the lugs are nicely polished. The crown featuring the Omega logo, as well as a deep knurling, easy to grip, even with wet, sweaty, or gloved hands. May as well give ourselves a bit more light. We're not super distant from the watch at this point. We want to appreciate the details of the dial. As you can see, a double step. There is an outer track and an inner step to the dial. There are apertures for the month as well as the date, and it is an annual calendar needing adjustment only once between the months of February and March. That's the one time per year that you need to adjust an annual calendar. So for example, it knows to jump from November 30th straight to December 1st, and I'm going to demonstrate that. Both the jump itself across the 31st, as well as the instantaneous change that's worthy of Patek Philippe or Rolex. It's precise and it's handy. You can also see in the process there is a stop seconds function or hacking. All of the Roman numerals are polished, hand applied. They are applique, not printed, not transferred, nicely executed. They do stand out in the light against the matte black base. Turn it all over and you can see that this is the Omega Caliber 8601. Based on, let's pop everything open, see how close we can get here. Based on the Omega 8500 family, the 8601 is the 8500 with an annual calendar. 60 hour power reserve, twin mainspring barrels, COSC chronometer, tri-level tangential escapement known as the coaxial. And of course the 8500s were designed from the base plate up as purpose built rather than converted coaxials. So they give you Rolex levels of toughness with the 
timing stability, reduced maintenance requirements, and outright precision that the inventor George Daniels originally promised. Free-sprung balance with a full balance bridge for shock resistance, silicon hairspring for anti-magnetism, all of this 100 meters water resistant, and you can see it's a handsome movement with spiral arabesque Cote de Genève and blackened rather than universally blued or polished screws. You can also see that there are twin mainspring barrels in this 39 joule movement, robustly sophisticated, somewhat thick, but tough as a result. That's one of the things. The thicker a movement in general, the tougher it is, which is why this full steel 100 meter automatic is, rightly, a sports watch. It's a dress watch too. It's both. It's an all-arounder. It's the equivalent of a Ducati monster for your wrist. See it and ride the wave on the watch box.